that'd be the reason why um, why the car was misfiring. Just gone to leave to go to the dyno and we've got a fuel leak. Most of it dripping out the bottom of the car. It's coming from up there. So um, yeah, looks like I've got to trace that down and fix it. I'm supposed to be at the dyno right now. I think this old car just wants to uh, sit in its retirement and chill out. It really doesn't want to be a, a race car or a drag car. Just wants to die peacefully. Fuel is coming down here. It's taken off the um, protective coating. Uh, must have been happening for a little bit. But uh, just put this rudimentary line in for now. So we uh, fixed the leak on the bottom, but now we've got a leak in here from this line here, which is our return. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I think I'm just going to take it off here and just run a line straight down um, and just connect it. Um, down on the return line at the bottom just to uh, try and get the car down to the dyno yeah anyway better get to it need some help Andrew comes to the rescue hey brother then we got the uh, the skyline which always seems to have the uh, toolbox in the back of it to fix all my stuff it's like a tire to say it's yeah. like, it just like just and the Christmas the centre's um, centre sack, sack. Man, he's yeah. reach in there man, he's pull out anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're saving me with some fuel line, that's, mm. that's crazy. Yeah. You see what's in the magic trunk? Have a look. I mean, if someone's tied up in there, it gets out and runs off. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll chase them for you bro. There you go, mate. Oh look at that, we, we've got this normal line, we've just got some hard line. I've got some fuel some, line. Um, some um, fuel safety. Oh yeah, sick. Tools and oh look, you've got the... Um, the former the tool, so yeah, okay, sweet all right. Hopefully we can fix that. Yeah, I think I've got a hoist back here somewhere. A hoist? Yeah. Yeah. Never yeah, right, mate. Let me know if you need yeah. it, I'll bring yeah. it out. <laughs> yeah. Andrew and his toolbox of mystery <laughs> come through with the fix again. For the win, for the win. Alright, all fixed. <laughs> so two fuel leaks in one day. So where are we off to bro? Oh, Sunday drive bro, Sunday S cruise. Hear the bridge on? Nah. Yeah, not me. Just wants to die peacefully. Liquid all through the back of the block. Water. Water. Cool. Water. Maybe. Maybe. It, maybe the head. Oh, yeah. Maybe the head lifted. Good look for me. Cool. Oh uh, yeah. Maybe it's lifted the head. No, no. The head. No, the head's just stuck. Stuck bolts. Yeah. Because I took them out. The tip should be right for that pile anyway. They're pretty strong, the same as the 12 mil on these eggs. Ah, yeah, man, they're strong as like people yeah. do up to 600 horsepower with the yeah. lead. Strong. Nah, it's a hose on them, bro. Is it? Has to be. Has to be a hose on them. Alright, you ready? Get your little fix 
से डाल दी Went out for a quick um, check of the tune on the road and David a bit of a boost and yeah it looks like it's lifted the head stud potentially and blown the head gasket. The head gasket is definitely blown. Um, so yeah we'll just have to come pick it up tomorrow. John's uh, kindly let me leave it here for tonight because it's a bit late but we'll come back with the trailer tomorrow, pick it up, get it in the shed and start pulling it apart. What do you reckon John? Close eh bro? <laughs> real close, real close. Real close, 360 real close. kilowatt, real close. That close to We're making winning it. the end, we will win in the end. We will get there, yeah, <laughs> bit of perseverance. Ah, she's all home, blowing up. Water in the um, combustion chamber, water in the oil. Head studs look like they've lifted or, or something else has happened, so we'll take off the head and investigate. How did we do that, bro? I think we did 33 pound on the road and then sent it on the dyno for 360 kilowatt. It went flat, we made a bit of progress, turbo's off. Head bolts are out. Just two more bolts at the back here holding this thing in and we can pop the uh, the head off and uh, see what's going on in there. What do you reckon bro? <laughs> <laughs> Feature <-wah! laughs> That's what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, man. You wanted to go sideways eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just hard, bro. It's got a crack, crack in the ball, bro, right there. Oh, that's crack, it. crack. Is it a crack? Yeah, crack there. Crack, crack. What is it? Yeah. Oh, so you cracked the block. Yeah. Okay. Yep, yeah, so you see how that's pinched together? And that's why that's got heaps more play. So look, so you see how this, see how this is perfectly yeah, fucking... Yeah, yeah. Straight and then that's, see how there's a bend in here because the alloy that's, block's that's, been that's, bent, so the, the motor's fucked. So that's perfectly sealed. That's a main gap. That's not bad, but that one's fucked. Not yeah, big. so that's the motor's fucked. Um, the only thing you can do is sleeve that, and that's like mega dollars. That's pulled the whole block out still. Oh, it's pulled the whole block out, strip it down, put buy darton sleeves, which are about two thousand bucks, and put pistons in, which are another thousand. And plus the labor, you're probably talking 5k just to put pistons into it. <laughs> You know, motor's absolutely just written off. Yeah, so um, we'll have to pull the whole engine out. It's what it is, eh, bro? These things happen. Yeah, it's cars. Unfortunately. So, if you look just here, we got a crack in the side of the in the side of the bore, which has pushed this piece of alloy in like this and closed this gap. And you can see down the piston, and you can see the ring sitting up here. And then see how these are nice all in straight. So this one's cracked here as well, but it's not so bad. And that one's sweet. So, so there's a gap between. You can see the big gap here. And then if you come over here, yeah. see how there's no gap? Because the cylinder's been pushed that way. The wall's been pushed that way. So this motor's completely stuffed. The blocks are right off. So it's just the anchor now. It's all over. A little bit of musical cars. RX-7's now in the back shed. <sighs> Gotta pull the motor out of this. Drive shaft bolts out. Gonna have to undo that mount. Work our way up here and undo that V-band as well. I don't think the exhaust will be out of the way though. We'll try our luck, but we might have to take this bottom rear sway bar off. Um, I've already disconnected the linkages that go to the gearbox. So once we undo all of that, then that should be it for under here. So exhaust, drive shaft bolts, and uh, gearbox linkages. And then uh, we have to pull the axles out as well on both sides. So wheels off and yeah, pull both, side, both sides out on the axles. And then we're done. So here we go, motor's coming out, got the gantry. Load the motor down onto some roller wheels to pull her out. 
And just lifting the car up. So it clears everything. This one doesn't have to go so high because um, it doesn't have a head on it. So that makes things a little bit easier. Normally you have to lift them right up to the to the very top to get these out, but this one will slide out real easy. So there you have it. Motor mounts off, drive shafts out, selector and drive shaft disconnected, and there's the exhaust off. So we'll start pulling this thing out. There you go, one motor free from the car. So we got the new motor out at the corner. This is supposed to have 34k of receipts, or 24k or something, I can't remember. It's supposed to be 2.2, all the good stuff. Twin plate clutch, I'll probably take that off and put this one on, which we've just pulled off the motor that came out of the gold car so we've got that out got the gearbox off well when i say we did steve uh probably did the majority of that to be honest good bastard he is um so yeah we'll keep going we'll take that twin plate off this we'll put the other clutch on it and we'll get this motor attached to the gearbox but we'll just take the rocket cover off and have a quick look in the head first do a quick visual inspection all right we've got the um, rocket cover off looks like we've got some Rocker stoppers in here, a little bit of marking on that camshaft, but otherwise we look good. Retainers are obviously different, they're a different colour to the factory ones. Motor, oh, the oil's definitely, uh, it's definitely lacked an oil change at some time in its life though. She's pretty black. Yeah. Okay. Adjustable cam gears on there. Right, it looks like someone's pinched the head gasket and tried to seal it up a bit rough. That's all right. We'll get rid of that as well. A bit of a port and polish job in here that someone's done, which is nice. I guess we'll give this one a 10, see what it does, see if it's any good. We'll clean all the auxiliaries out that are on that, all the oil catch tanks and lines and everything else. Well then, that was an absolutely massive day. Motor out. Motor's getting ready to go back in. Gearbox is back on. Just jam the old one down there for now. Have a look at that later. So yeah, put that back in the next couple of days, reassemble everything, and yeah, go for another go.